Praise the Lord. Um, so um, today, uh, it being Sunday, Sunday Funday, you know, um, happy Sunday. It's a double portion, and you have Past Appreciation Month, and you know it's my birthday, so that's a that's a trifecta and a, on a, on a quadruple, you know, of a blessing. But then you get the calls that somebody got put in a rest home, and somebody has cancer, somebody lost a loved one, and you know uh, all those different types of things, that, you know, and then uh, the the phone calls start like that, but um, it shouldn't. Um, affect our prayer life we should pray the more you know pray without ceasing as i said in the last video and um you know god will bless you you know for praying there's power in prayer there's power in calling on the name of jesus you know there's power in his name and the blood and the word and, and you know um just being able to cry out power in prayer and supplication and then you can fast and pray and uh you know god will bless god will bless by you seeking him and praying and and repenting and turning from the wicked ways of the world and your own ways to his way and god will certainly amen establish comfort in hearts and you know heal the sick cleanse the lepers raise the dead do those things only he can do you know that's all we know to do is to pray you know in those times we can't do anything else um unless they're crying and we cry with them or, or or they're sad and we be sad with them that's all there is to do other than you know um uh, cry or be sad is to pray so you know the addition to prayer is fasting and praying do without food push from the table you know all those sorts of manners of things and um, you know, God will bless and God certainly will, you know, um, meet the needs. Uh, when he hears his name, when we plead the blood, if he hears his uh, child cry, if a, if a person is sincere in their heart, he knows the hearts of men, then whenever we pray for one another, um, he'll comfort They'll come by and visit. There'll be a visitation. There'll be revival, you know. And uh, mm -hmm. that's certainly what we want to hear more of uh, all around the world, not just at colleges and, you know, not just, um, you know, seeing videos of somebody in the street shouting. But we want to see a real move <clears throat> of God, amen, and the Holy Ghost of God fall upon the people and bless the people and people come up out of wheelchairs you know um not not because they have a they had a hurt uh thigh or, or because they had a, a cast around their leg and it was broken but because they hadn't walked their whole life and god is glorifying himself so you know um i, I had the, i had the opportunity to go around the area and look and see in the area and I was looking in the area here at a local place that I'm at now. And what I was seeing was part revival and and part needing resurrection, to be honest with you. You know, there need to be a revival and, and the other part is, is revival. So it needs to be full-blown revival. Praise God, to restore and build the cities and the walls and the churches and the towns and the land and the nations, you know, and uh, God will, you know, visit. God will visit and God will show up and he'll pour out of his spirit. A lot of people don't believe that these last days. They're, I don't know what they're searching for. I know what most people are searching for. They're searching for ear, ear, ear tickling and, and the hitching ear message that I'm doing right and I don't do anything wrong. And that's the wrong message. That doesn't benefit you any, any way that, you know, <clears throat> that, that it's like this. It's like you're just holding a sword to the air. And, and, the, and, the, and the rock is not striking the sword to sharpen your sword. So, I mean, if, if there's not a correction, if there's not a repentance, if there's not a strong word, um, 
If it's just easy believism, you know, it's 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 not gonna benefit. It's gonna benefit you for one second. You know, maybe one second. It feels good. It sounds good. It, it's it's good. It's better than I know it to be. But but Jeremiah would say woe unto you, and you know, and and Joel would say weep, you know, and and between the porch and the altar and. You know, all these things that the prophets of, of old would say. And when we see that nowadays, it's like, well, I want to hear a woman because I'm a woman. Well, I like the way the little children give it because they're little soft voices. Or, uh, well, if he's going to be a man, let him be a small man and not let him, sh you know, shout with, with a bold voice. Let him talk soft and supple to me. And so I know people, I know how people are, they look for those things. And it's error, it's serious error. You know, it says to lift your voice like a trumpet, you know. And that's what the Word of God says. But we have to pray for revival, you know, and preach hard. And there will be revival in His truth. If we stand on the Word of God, God will show up and God will bless even if it's a mess, God will bless. Praise God. Hallelujah. And, you know, Sunday, fun day, past appreciation, <coughs> you name it, whatever it is, you know, God is there. If it's your birthday, you know, anniversary, Thanksgiving, every day's revival, every day's Thanksgiving, every day we celebrate the birth of Messiah, every day. We praise and worship as if it's Sunday or Wednesday or some people have service on Saturday or Thursday but always praise ye the Lord be thankful and grateful for who's around you praise God no funny business around you you know no silliness no unbiblical doctrine or untruths no unministers around you only ministers of the gospel of Jesus Christ God bless you Holy salute have a great day I'm going in the church, another church, amen.